Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Upgrade or Trash It. In this video I've got the Latitude E6420 and what I've done is I've just swapped out the SATA drive for an SSD um, hard drive. And I wanna, I'm going to install um, Windows 10 on it and I want to know how much more quickly it installs on the SSD drive as opposed to the old SATA drive. So let me start the laptop, let's get on with it. Of course I've got my USB stick already plugged in with Windows 10 on it. Okay, so we can get the F12 for the boot menu. Excellent. So when I did this earlier, with the old SATA drive, with the existing SATA drive, it installed in about 35 minutes. So how much more quickly will an SSD drive take to install it? So here we go here, we've got all the language and the time and currency formats, that for me is the UK, so let's move on. Now I bought a 128 gigabyte SSD drive and it cost me about £12. And there's plenty available um, for people in the UK and I've just checked eBay in the US and, and by the way that was a reconditioned um, SSD drive. Okay, here we go. Windows 10 Home. And I'm just checked eBay in the US and you can get a reconditioned SSD drive for about, let me just check again. It looks as though you can get one for about $13, which is um, cheap as chips, as we say over here. Okay, let me just... So the installation started properly. It's transferring files now from the USB stick onto the laptop. Let's just make sure this kind of gets underway, and then I'm going to pause the video and then come back to it in a while. So the installation's further on, so we'll start the video again. Okay, it's doing its first restart.
Okay, we're going for a second restart now. Now this is interesting, the large... Hi I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. Okay, so uh, the Microsoft Windows um, voice assistant is just loading, which is what all the noise was about. But what I was saying about the large font on the screen, this shows that actually the display driver or the graphics driver hasn't been installed at this point in the um, installation process. Okay, so it's just more confirmations of, about where exactly in the world I am. And now about keyboards. I don't want a second layout. Okay, so it's, I'm just going to pause here as I connect myself to the internet. Excellent. So that seems to have connected very well and quite rapidly. So what happened when I installed Windows 10 on this same machine using the standard SATA drive is that the display driver that kind of corrects the resolution and makes sure it's running perfectly didn't install until the installation itself had finished and then on the restart straight after it installed the driver to correct the resolution and get a great display. Okay, so it is time to Put my account in. Let me just get the code. Quickly create a pin. Okay, this is the part where we decide what data we're going to share. So I'm going to whistle through this, mostly saying I don't want to share much at all, if any. And then this lets you customise this laptop. It will automatically set up the laptop in a certain style if you want to use it mostly for entertainment or for gaming or for creativity. I'm going to skip this. I don't want to connect it to my phone and neither do I want to set up anything with OneDrive. I neither do I want Microsoft 365 and I don't want to get a Game Pass Neither do I want to set up Cortana, the digital assistant.
Okay, so there we go. The installation has finished and by my watch we're just on about 16 minutes. So compared to the 35 minute time that it took for the installation to happen on the old SATA drive, that's pretty good. Got rid of about 20 minutes, saved about 20 minutes of time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a restart just to make sure that the device driver, the display driver, sorry, loads and we get the right resolution on the screen. And at this stage we can take the USB stick out with the Windows 10 operating system on. And there we go, that screen tells us that the display driver has installed and the resolution is absolutely perfect going forward. Okay, thank you for watching this video about installing Windows 10 on, on an SSD drive.